Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Peeps and Poops. Uh, behind me on your upper right balcony, we have Mr. Poops. Down below here in the front, we have little Miss Peeps. And over there, we have Gardener that you can hear. Let's see if we can get a shot of them. There he goes on uh, his, his Doozer mobile. Those, our gardeners are awesome. They do a bunch of houses up and down around here. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that the dogs are totally chill with the, um, the blower and the mower. And um, it's no problem just because they're leaving it up to me to make the decision whether we're going to do something or not with those with those crazy blowers and mowers. And that's something that you want to establish with your dog. Here comes the blower. You can see these guys are just totally chill. Um, so anyway, hi. Um, these guys are great. The weather here is awesome. It's spring, ba spring break, I can't talk today. It's spring break in California, or at least it is for us. And um, Baxter, he's like, oh, it's too rainy and cold outside. The sun came up for a moment here. But of course, um, 10 year old boy wants to be on his iPad on his day off. So he's working on the animations. So you can see like the, uh, how the animation stuff is coming along. I'm into it, being a dad. Um, I'm into what Baxter's doing. And today I wanted to talk about um, harnesses. These dogs are so chill, this is awesome. So you can see Yoshi's harness in the back. What happens is, um, I see these people walking their dogs. I'm just gonna talk a little bit above the blower. Um, I see these people walking their dogs and they've got the harness on the dog and the harness goes across the chest here, right? And so look, he's like, he's like this big, strong 90 pound staffy. And if I clip the lead just to the center back of this thing, there's a D-ring here. If I just clip the lead to that, then it's like, oh yeah, tractor trailer truck pull. And he just will pull on it. And I see people walking their dogs like that. And um, they, you know, even these little gals will, they'll have like a hundred pound mastiff or something and they got a big harness and it looks like it'll hold the dog quite well for a walk. Um, but they clip it and what that means is just pull and the dog's like Ooh, Okay, and you're like, oh gosh <laughs> And I feel I feel like going no don't do it Because my experience with those big dogs like that They they'll just pull and they think it's a game and then pretty soon they do it a few times and they're like, okay Owner I got it You put this big harness on me and I pull with all my might, and then they're pulling them, um, they're pulling the sh arms out of the shoulder sockets. And if you just put the prong collar on, right? Come here, Yosh, let's see what we got here. So if you just put a prong collar on, okay, so this isn't sharpened. This is just, you know, the flat ends goes around his neck, and he's got, he has so much meat around his neck. If you clip the lead to his flat harness, I mean, if you, if you clip the lead to his flat collar, it's just like this. It's just like, uh, 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 just pushing on their throat. You don't need to do that. This thing will, these ends, they're not sharp, but they go around and they'll disperse evenly. And that's the only way to kind of get the dog's attention, in my opinion. Um, and then there's also the choker, right? Which. Dogs will either, with the choker, t -t -t -t, it's just t -t communicating with the dog. It's not, let's choke her. <laughs> it's like, it's like let's just t -t -t communicate with the dog. You stop, you look at the dog, t -t -t, it sits, you know. Well, let's go. It, the lead is, um, you know, slack. The dog will walk on your left side. That's um, a video for another time. But just to talk about the harnesses primarily, if you have one of these big, strong dogs and you're like, he doesn't listen to me. The harness is just for either 
Uh, the harness is just for either pulling, which I don't know anything about the dog sled or the dog carts or anything like that. Um, the harness is either for the pulling or I use it just to let the dog know, okay, come on, it's time to work. I'm putting on the harness. We're going to go and you're going to pay attention to me. And then the third thing that I use a harness for, like little Ruby, right? Ruby. Um, I put a harness on her. She has her collar. She has her harness. And just the first two times we put that up on the, we put those vids up on the channel. You can see the first two times we took Ruby out. We just clipped the lead to her harness because she's just following big boy here. But then she's like, ooh, look at this. And then clunk, she comes to the end of her lead. And we don't want the first time out of the gates going on a walk. We don't want her to be uh, pulling on the neck. So I do the first few times just on a harness that clips to the body. So it's more like a come along and pull in the body just so the dog has a good experience. The dog's been outside. They've got this lead. Um, it's all new. And so rather than like doing the neck stuff, first few walks I just do a harness that's just me you guys can do it you know be creative you know but that's um you know I'm doing like two three dogs at a time and um some of these dogs don't know how, like Ruby didn't even know how to walk on a lead so um with the harness rather than clipping the lead to the harness um because that's just going to be like pull um get a prong collar and, you know, don't use a flat collar. Get a prong collar, one that fits, okay? And let's see. You can, what do I have here? You can, like, measure your dog's neck, right? So we just got a bunch of collars for some of these dogs yesterday. So you just measure the dog's neck, and then you, when you're um, at the Smart Pet or wherever you are, you can just kind of figure out the size and get a prong collar, you don't want anything too big. You don't want it too small and tight. Um, it needs to fit. And it's not to like yank and choke. It's not for hurting the dog. It's for effective communication. Because the, the um, harness is not effectively communicating with the dog. Whenever I see somebody who's got the lead clipped to the harness, I'm like, okay, well, they're playing this game with their dog called pull, pull, pull. Okay, big, strong dog, go, all right. And they'll do that all the way around the block. And it's like, you know, I see these guys, they work all day. They come home from work and they're like, okay, take the big strong dog for a walk. And the dog's like, I'm ready for this game. Ooh, and the person, oh, come on, dog, give me a break. We need a trainer. Um, so with all that, just try the prong collar. And um, there, there's all kinds of great trainers on uh, YouTube and all kinds of great videos. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, talk about the harnesses today. You can also see um, little Ruby's pink harness, and you can see like the first two times we took her out for a walk. There's all kinds of stuff where you can see uh, Yoshi's uh, harness, but I don't clip the lead to that. And uh, there's my boy. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and poof.